I'm Steve St. John. I'm senior editor of the National Geographic Image Collection. Standing on board the National Geographic Lindblad Sea Lion, and we're in the middle of the Panama Canal. Well, I didn't know the Panama Canal was open 24 hours a day. You know, that this goes on all year long, Ooh. Christmas included. Uh, night or day, just like a drive-in. Yeah, people were asking, how can you get shots at night on the Panama Canal? Because you're really on a moving platform. So there's always movement, there's always vibration coming from the motor. What's often recommended in photographic magazines is to carry a bean bag with you, something to absorb the vibrations from the motor when you set your camera on the railing. What I was recommending is that you take a shoe off, set it on the railing, put your camera right on top of that shoe. That will absorb all the vibrations and give you as gentle a release of your shutter as you can get. Besides, if your shoe should fall overboard, you've always got another tripod on the other foot. When you are on a moving ship, how do you get different angles? Because there's not a lot of choice. You're either in the front of the boat or the back of the boat. And the trick really is to look for the details because there's something going on all around you. And the other nice thing about this moving platform, if you really look at things, these locomotives called the mules move right with you. If you hold your shutter open and the locomotive is moving at the same speed as the boat, you get a wonderful shot with the uh, locomotive in focus and everything moving past it being blurred. My favorite picture that I was able to shoot in uh, the last 24 hours, uh, the gentleman actually let me crawl down on the deck and shoot through the little hole that the rope comes through from the locomotive and a nice frame around it like a window. It's probably something no one's tried before, but probably no one wanted to get that greasy lying in the deck. I think the trick in shooting a canal is to first get your cover shot, get the shot you were sent there to shoot. Once you've got that, you can just let loose a little bit, have fun, and get creative. I think you always relax more when you know that the shot you were sent there to get is already in your camera. Then you can get anything you want and just please yourself, and those are probably the shots that are going to please you the most when you get home.